your phone. <laughs> brush your throat. You may go come me turn. Guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olichunwobi Daniel and I'm a makeup artist and a YouTuber based in Enugu State. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louis Iwefo. I'm a YouTuber based in Enugu, Nigeria. I am a professional hairstylist and if this is your first time here on my channel, please don't make it your last. And if you're a returning subscriber, I want to say a big thank you to you guys for always supporting me. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be talking about work ethics. We've gathered around so many points that will help us. And if you're creative, then you need to sit back and watch this video. So guys, first on our list, we're going to be talking about time management. Yes, punctuality is very important because if you don't come early, you won't get your content. So we'll still have more to talk about content, but for now, let's talk about time management. I'm going to be talking about from, um, time management from my own aspect as a professional hairstylist. So I've been in this game for a long time and I really know how to work with time. So um, let's say you have a one hour, you know, short one hour period of time to work with so the best way to do this is while the makeup is going on you're just touching the hair you're know, doing one or two things like what i normally do with every makeup artist i've worked with is i ask them or i tell them to let me know when i should stop so you should know how to manage your time and you know do all these things in a short period of time so you can also get pictures and your clients will go to church early the same thing applies to a makeup artist we have we actually occupy more of the time because we have a step-by-step -step makeup application and trust me you need all the time and for you to make out time for that you really need to be early like earlier than any other vendor like for me as a makeup artist the bride's church is by 10 I'm always there by 4.30. I know you guys might feel it's too early, but actually that's the time I get to work because I need to take all the time. And just like he said, he gives time for the makeup artist to do her part and he does his own part. This has to do with um, the next topic, which is team play, right? Yes, please. Makeup and hair goes hand in hand. That is before the photographer comes into the picture now. So if I'm a makeup artist, I like to discuss with a hairstylist, what are we supposed to do on this bride? Because usually I get pictures from my brides. I want to know what they look like without makeup, to know their face shape, you know, to know if they sweat a lot about their skin. So these are the things I work with. The hairstylist so while we are doing this i do my part and i give the hairstylist time to also do his part because if not we are going to clash and it will be as if i'm taking all the time and he doesn't have his own time so we really need to work on how we do this secondly is we have to talk about the hairstyle that fits the bride's face i do the talk i tell the hairstylist okay look at the hairstyle i feel that is good what for, do you think yeah. yeah what do you think what do you think about this hairstyle for me i feel it's going to be okay because her face is rounded or her face is oval or her face is long or squared so these are the things we really talk about that's why sometimes it feels like oh these two when they are always they always bring magic we bring magic not because we are all that good yeah we are good but i'm not saying that <laughs> you know no, we perfect. just have just to we just have to cooperate you team. know yeah. exactly exactly you really need to cooperate with whoever you are working with i'm sorry there are some people when you tell them i'm sorry i don't think this hair goes with this bride they'll be like they find it so yes, offensive yes, and it's really annoying <sighs> really annoying and they tell yeah. you are you to tell are you going to tell me what guys so um, <laughs> sorry before i move into the, the, the what i'm about to say there was that i had a job with a very popular makeup artist so after doing the face it was looking all bright as if we were in heaven so i was like i'm um, sorry have you sprayed the face you need you guys need to see the way she she attacked me like 
Yes, I've sprayed the face. What else? Is it not looking good? So I had to pretend. I just told her, sorry, I was just asking so that I will know if I can continue. Exactly. Because we're doing this thing together exactly. and the content is for us. Exactly. Both. Because for this bride to contact us, it means she must have seen something on our page mm -hmm. for her to contact us. You yes. mustn't be so good, but your exhibition alone attracts people to your business and this will even get you more bookings. Exactly. So I just told myself, ah, no vex. So. Mind your business. Mind your Drink business. Water. So mind your water business. Water and mind your business. <laughs> okay. Like okay. A, a, a lot of people I've worked with know me. Lee Signature Louis is a team player. Like I've done a couple of jobs with people mm -hmm. and you know most times they tie gilly and it's not my business. So I try to get pictures and yeah. videos from that gilly. Because, you even do edges yeah, for design, right? Because oh, yeah. I want everything to sing, to move in sync. Like, I just want everything to be perfect. For the fact that I didn't tie the gilly doesn't mean I won't get exactly. perfect videos yes. for that job. So that's what team playing is. Yes, yes. And another thing I want to say about team playing is... Um, when it comes to photographers, they don't allow you to do the job. They just want to go straight to taking pictures. They tell you there's no time. This, that, that, this, this, that. Like I've worked with a couple of photographers who do that to me. Trust me, I'm going to shout back at you. If you're telling me to hurry up or to do this, if the makeup and the hair is it's not, not perfect, perfect, trust me, how do you even how do you even want to get good pictures? You're going to put yourself through yeah. so much stress. When it comes to editing because now let's say i'm doing a frontal and the frontal is nowhere laid you're seeing all the white patches and all and the makeup you know when you have so much um powder underneath mm -hmm. the eyes mm -hmm. and you know the contour everything is just harsh, harsh. not well blended mm -hmm. you're giving yourself work exactly do you get that's they so don't, much they don't, work they because don't. when the skin work is perfect then photography you won't have much to edit you know but yeah. anyway, you know, I still you know. love the fact that the photographers we have this time are beginning to understand, you know. Some yeah. of them, yes, yeah, some of them. They're Let's beginning not to say understand. all of them. Disclaimer: I'm not trying to call anybody out. We're just trying to do a video to help all of us grow. Exactly. So please don't find this offensive. I beg you, in the name of God, <laughs> because I know a lot of people find find this video very offensive. Offensive, please. yeah. Okay, so another thing I need to add in this thing is about mistakes. Now, there's something we do when we work together, yeah? I'm not perfect, he's not perfect. In as much as he does nice towels and all, there are some things he sometimes might do. Sometimes. Sometimes. Exactly. Yeah, he flops. We all flop. We all flop. I flop too and he tell, he gives me a sign. Once he gives me a sign, mm. You I understand. already know what he's talking about. Yeah. And I could come close and be like, mm, what did you say? Mm, no, I will no, get no, no, to know no. that. Okay, and I'm before you know it, oh, you're sorry correcting for the it. Word, yeah. I'll try to fix it. I do the same with him and any other person, but some people find it offensive, but it's not supposed to be. So we are all trying to have a perfect content. I mean, it will serve you good content. Trust me, we'll get bookings, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. So please, please, please. Please, in case I'm working with you in the future, please don't be offended if there's something, and if also there's something that I need to correct in my own, please feel free to tell so me I'm not perfect. You trust know? me, guys, when you're doing this, do it in a playful and polite and way. Polite way, exactly. Because, like I said the other time, I told the, the lady, um, Are you done with spray? She attacked me. And trust me, I actually did it in a polite way, and it came out mm, from her like nice. that. So I just had to like mind my business and do what I came to do. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a very big thumbs up. Yes, and comment and share to your friends. Please, please, please. And also don't forget to subscribe to, to our, our channel. channel. So we're going to leave <laughs> a link or we're just going to connect it somewhere so you guys yes. can go subscribe to our channel. Yeah. <laughs> So you guys, the best on our list, I don't know why I'm laughing, but trust me guys, anytime I want to talk to Tamara, I do like this first, <laughs> to see if there's anything, yeah, you know. Serious. So we're going to be talking about hygiene mm. and how important your hygiene should be when attending to a client or going for a job. Yes. Okay. So many things, you know, from 
mouth order to body order to not dressing well. Come on, guys. And it mustn't look expensive. But yeah, it mustn't look, look expensive. I can actually go to job the way I'm looking. Yeah. You know, I don't need to be all. You know, Fly. so your hair has to. Even if you don't, you didn't fix any hair. Make sure you pack your hair. If you decide to fly, make sure you it's do sit. Rolls. Exactly, you can do corn rolls. It's fine. I mean, your dress. You have to dress decent. Hmm? And even if you want to show off, please do it in a nice way. You know, <laughs> and just, I know just, myself, just to chip in something yeah. into what you're saying. There's something about colors when you're walking. If you wear a very, you know, awkward colors like orange, yellow, trust me, it's going to affect your video. So back to you. Exactly. Okay, so about hygiene, please make sure you brush your mouth. Very good. Brush your thong. <laughs> brush your throat. I don't know how to <laughs> express myself because it's really, really I important. Wish, you don't I want wish to. We can you do don't, like, you don't want to. We can you don't teach. want to come close to your client <laughs> and open your mouth and tell her. Okay, now there's a tip I need to drop here. Normally, when you brush your mouth, it's clean, and you start work before it's, you know, afternoon. Your mouth can smell, so you need to have mint in your mouth, like chewing gum very important because once you don't have food in you you've not had anything that money your mouth is definitely going to smell no matter how much you brush so always have mint in your mouth like chewing gum or sweet or anything something has to go into your mouth so now we're going to be treating body because mm. this is my specialty like you can never catch me i'm not going to lie to you guys i've not beaten since morning and this is almost five Sorry, you don't know that. Oh. So, yeah, if I don't tell oh, you, God. if I don't tell you, you I'm for know. real, you will know. And you. I'm sitting here. Oh. Yeah, if I don't tell you, you will know. Like, how did I do that? First of all, I bathed in the night, and you know, I slept under the AC. So let's say I am supposed to work today. So what I do is, after bathing in the night, doing all my night routines, mm -hmm. the ritual, brushing my teeth, and all. I go to bed and I wake up in the morning and I have my bath. So after having my bath, I have a roll on. Nivea need to come and sign us. They should pay us for this video. <laughs> you use your Nivea roll on, use a Nivea shore, and then use a body spray. There's a difference between a body spray and a perfume. Yeah, when you don't spray. shower and use a perfume, trust me guys, you're going to end up smelling like a goat. So you Especially need to, when you sweat. Thank you. So you need to clean up very well. Use your deodorants, your volumes, and your body spray. You so this is clean. very when you're clean, there's this confidence. Being clean. Do you know? You're you're walking like this. Like, oh my god. There's there's this perfume <laughs> that I just added. It's a present. I just added it to my collections of perfumes. Okay, like, the collection you remember now. I, I know. When I use that perfume, like the pride because I'm smelling good you know okay. there's something about even even in your head when you don't shower in the morning and you smell when you're walking around like you you walk by past someone you start sweating you're not sweating because the weather is hot mm -hmm. is your mind telling you that okay this person is going to perceive it that exactly. I've not had my bath yes. since morning. I mean, even, so, if, guys, even yeah. if if you even if I have I had my bath like a night before, I'm still, still shower. Have, yeah, I've know, had I some know. time that I I did make up in the morning on the clients without having my bath because they called in on time and you know you know well, when it you when still a client have comes time the day before yes. to do all that. Yeah, See, you know yeah. when a client comes and, and then they don't notify you and they're just there, you just have to just put on something and just do their makeup. Do the work. And so most times then most people think okay we clean up because we meet people. Trust me, you don't clean up because you meet people. You do all these things for yourself. For yourself. That's the most important thing. If I don't like doing it, you can find me doing it. Mm -hmm. 
that's it. Anything yeah. you find me doing, just so I'm comfortable doing it, and you know, I just, I just want to keep doing it. So that's just the yes. clean up, use your deodorant. Even if you're wearing an okay shirt, just like I'm wearing now, you still have to smell good. Exactly. That's it. Well, you should shower, though. Yeah, of course. Sure. Sure. <laughs> The next thing on the list is professionalism. Hmm. I'm a makeup artist. I have to be a professional. You're a doctor, you have to be a professional. Hairstylist, whatever you are, you have to be professional. And professionalism has to do with contracts, you know, having your rate cards. You can't, someone can call you on the phone. If you call me on the phone and ask me how, hello, how are you? How much do you chat for? I'll still refer you to chatting me up because I have to send my rate card. I don't send, I don't tell you my rates on the phone because a lot of people will be like, eh? It's too expensive. And another thing about um, being professional when it comes to sending your prizes and all, you get it from everybody. They will tell you you're rude. Yes. Come on, I've met a lot of people who, like, they've called me rude, and I just pretend like I don't know what I'm saying. But when they meet me on that day, they're like, oh my mm. God, you're so sweet. Yes, I'm sweet, because it's normal. The country <laughs> is very hard. When you tell somebody oh, about God. your rates and all, and you're trying to be a professional, trying to tell them to, you know, maybe text you and you return, you know, you reply them later because you're working. Nigerians just tag you a rude person. It's normal. You're going to get that every time. So just do you and refer them to, you know, text because there's some details that yes. you need to have exactly. as a text message so that you're going to pay reference to, to it, it in case before. tomorrow they say that you're rude. You already have everything okay so my experience in this in the east here is some people call you and when you tell them when you refer them to whatsapp they should chat you on whatsapp so you can send your red card they are like okay okay like i don't blame them though because they are not used to this but i feel that when you are professional people tend to respect your business more you know you have to speak to them politely and it's okay if they can't afford you to like when they tell me oh they got too much it's too much fine. hey oh fine it's fine i'll be like okay ma'am thank you but that's what you charge if you want to give them a discount it will it's also be you. based on how they come to you i can give discounts you know except it's a fixed price but when they tell me, oh, I'll be quite too much rudely. I'll be like, all right, no problem, ma'am. Thank you very much. And that's it. So you guys were still on being professional. So we're talking about professionalism. So being professional is not just telling your clients to send me a message or to send you a message on WhatsApp so you can forward them your rich, your rich card. So being professional can still be showing up on time and doing the job. And most times, some clients can, you know, have they can be having a conversation with their friends. Exactly. That As a professional, you're not even supposed to, you know, utter any word or even laugh or smile. Yes. Like I do that a lot when I'm working on a client and she's on her phone. I don't even look okay. at the phone. Even if I see something I'm not supposed to see, I keep it to myself. That's being professional. Yes. And let's say she walked into your salon or your makeup studio with her friend and they're talking about someone or they're you know having like a girl conversation you're not even supposed to contribute because your opinion is actually not needed because yeah. trust me i've been a client to you know other facilities and other places so when i am having a conversation with my friend mm -hmm. and they contribute there as soon as we're living there the first thing i do is is that person stupid? Like, why is she contrib Why is she talking into our matter? Like, matter exactly. Do you understand? They might act like all is fine, all is good, and you know they even yeah. talk more so you can contribute. Trust me, if mm -hmm. you're not comfortable with you, they might not come back. You will, be, you will end up being the topic of <laughs> of the discussion. So oh when a co when a conversation is going on between your friends <laughs> with her friends or maybe her boyfriend or her sugar daddy or <laughs> you just have to 
mind your business and do the job you're paid for. Yes. So guys, I have something else I need to chip in. Professionalism has to do with how you comport yourself. You know, how you stand, how you converse with your clients. You know, you have to be, you know, speak like a lady. And if you're a guy, you should speak like a gentleman, you know, that will help a lot. Even if your client is not a professional person, trust me, the way you relate with them will even help them to comport themselves too. Do you understand? And sometimes they can be rude. I don't mean that if she's rude, you should have to be rude again. I mean, if she's rude, you have to put, with all due respect, ma'am, very very that. important very very important you don't have to be shabby like the person i mean you can't be too mad people now how about now you have to speak in a way that you would be respected how you present yourself matters a lot how you speak how you act even how you stand to do your work you don't just I don't, <laughs> even if it's not part of you my love uh, form it yes form yes it. like there's something there's how something, you there's something how I you do. keep your hands to do ah they'll be like ah, this there's, makeup there's, artist there's, or more there's I'd something, like to be like her when I go there's up. something I do when I go for a job so as I'm entering and I'm seeing my, my bride the first thing I do is hi good day my name is Lee Signature I'm your hairstylist and what's your name trust me if you leave me I'm a very crazy person like I will remove my eyeglass like this. We will treat our fuck up. <laughs> but this is a paying client. You just have to comport yourself. That's where professionalism comes in. Yes. Hi, good day. My name is Lee. With a smile on your I'm face. A, I'm a hairstylist for today. Sorry, how was your night? You know, these are the things that even... Let's say they, I've, I've, I've had a lot of clients who want to fight me on their wedding day. But as soon as they see me, they just want to be my friend. Yes. Why? Because of how you know you converse with them, you know sometimes I don't even count first impression as you know anything. anything. Because to me, first first impression is nothing. So I believe in maybe second or third impression. Yes, like, exactly. Cause, because first impression, you can be that you are pretending, and at the end of the day, they will see the real you. Will like ah ah, is it not this girl? <laughs> you guess. <laughs> so I don't even believe in first impression. So guys, let's try and comport ourselves. It's our mm -hmm. business. This is where we make ends meet Meet, from. exactly. This is and what once you have like, a bad review, you Yes, it, it messes up everything for me. I know you don't, you're going to always have bad reviews, but you just have to amend yeah. them by, you know, treating every other every client other that person. come in. Yeah, and another thing, in case their madness is too much, you need a lawyer. Very, 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 very because important. if you're not a mad person, then you need someone to speak for you. And yeah. once they know that you have someone, in fact, even if you don't have a lawyer, act like you have it. There's a way you are professional, they'll say, Ah, it's like this one has a lawyer, I don't want to be for her trouble. <laughs> My dear, all these things are workable. You don't need to have all the money to be present. The more you comport yourself, the more they see you as good. You have to pray. The fact that you're rendering services doesn't mean that. When I started this business, at my friends were just me of a job they went to, and they, they, when the mother of the bride asked her to wash plates so that because there was no plate to serve the guests. What? I'm like what? Wash what? My dear. Just comport yourself. So before we move into the next one, I'm going to just add one thing to you know the professionalism we're talking about. You know, most times some clients see us creatives as um, you know there's something they call the no-go school. So they see us as no-go school. So like I've had a couple of jobs, mm -hmm. you know, where people think I didn't even you know finish secondary school. Maybe I just picked up and said, okay, I just want to go into hairstyling and, you know, make ends meet. Hairstyling is what I love doing. Mm -hmm. So I had a job somewhere where a bride was talking about, okay, mm, you're good, but let's say you went to school, we bring you to Canada, and this is that, that, that. Oh my God. I was just quiet, I was looking at her. I love said, Nigeria. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I have a BSc in accounting. She was like, oh my God. I said, yeah, oh my God. I have a BSc in accounting. <laughs> so for the fact that we are creatives, doesn't mean we exactly. didn't go to school. Do you understand? Sometimes some people think, 
I don't really know how to like put this, like explain it so you guys can understand. I don't want to be too, you know, proud to show that I'm a professional. No. You just have to calm down, do your thing in a polite way yes. and give the clients what you actually came for. Like the services you're rendering. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I, I just have to tell her I went to, I actually went to school and I have I had a B I have a BSc in accounting so she would know how to like you know place me. But right now my reps in her in her eyes is on a higher level. I, I don't know. So and another thing is if you want to further your education, go ahead. I mean the fact that you're a creative doesn't mean that you shouldn't know other things you know yeah you can go for your masters you can do professional courses you can do business courses i mean it will help it will help your it helps business to interact ah, with your exactly mind. exactly it helps trust me and when they see that you have all this they will know that you mean business good why do you think that some people charge the amounts they charge, their rates are so high, but people still book them for a very, very simple, like, I know makeup artists that charge like 1M and more just than. Do, it's not just the same. Exactly. <laughs> it can be what I'm no wearing offense. on my face and no they charge that. Offense. I really don't blame them. It's called branding. So build your brand, my love. Very, loves. very important. Very important. We, remember, let's just chip in what we started. There's something we started this year. So like, when you call us for a job, let's say a studio appointment or ne, he gave me full booking like full yeah. payment very, you know I mean? full I, booking very you important because there are a couple of times in the past where someone will just call you and tell you okay we're coming to your place to do our hair then me i will carry high pour and pour inside water pour detergent and clean after cleaning i will mm-hmm. mop do everything because you're not spray, ready wait spray air freshener then turn on the ac and sit down and be waiting for that person you and wait, wait, they wait don't the show person up. will not show oh. up so like that day is That's wasted for you so we started doing this thing you That's know when you call <laughs> you book an appointment you make payment i give you a time you have just 15 minutes grace yes. so once you're late you're later than 15 minutes you're going to pay extra, extra like 50 percent of what is time money. is money and it's time very is important money. so all this is being professional if you keep doing okay i know this person she can just come in anytime i'm gonna kill okay guys the next thing on the list is content this is what puts food on your on our table content very important so and that's where I come in because mm-hmm. this is my specialty. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, without the content, I feel like I didn't do the job. So, the content is the main thing. So, that person who booked you saw it somewhere, and you need to use hers for someone to, to also, also see you. Mm-hmm. So, there's that's something right. I started doing, um, you know, should I say lately? Like when I do frontals or I do anything, I just like to do reels because reels stand up for reels. People, people want to yes. see and people want to experience it. So I do reels not because I want to do reels. It's because I actually want people to come yes. and book me. That's yes. why I do reels. And most times when I get booked for a job and the client tells me. I'm sorry, you can't post. I get so angry. Like, I feel like I didn't do anything. So it happened to me yesterday. <laughs> How did you feel? She said, I didn't even open the message. She was like, please, I don't like that my video is on your page. I was like, uh, <laughs> I would have dropped, but I like to respect them. If they yeah, feel very, my very video, their video shouldn't be on my page, it's fine. I'll delete it. It's, it's very important. And if you feel that is going to hurt you, what you should do is include it in your rates card. Like tell them yes. if you don't want your pictures you out there, extra fee. This is <clears throat> the fee for not putting your pictures, pictures. out there. Because honestly, you saw someone's pictures before you actually yeah. trusted us and so, came to yeah. us. So if you don't want your pictures out there, ne ne me go come me churn. Exactly. do be my phone somewhere and just act like nothing happened because that's like shushing me up. So you need yeah. to shush me up with something reasonable. Mm-hmm. But still, 
trust me, I'm going to feel bad because yeah, it's after, really, it's all, after trying all to, the oh, stress, like, why and you are know, we even going extra mile if not? To Thank get the you. Content. The content. Oh, the content is, it's really is hard the for most me. I really felt bad. I felt like something was removed from me. Like I was so angry. I was so angry yesterday. Trust me, but I just let it go. I just deleted it. And mm -hmm. also, find time to plan your content. Like sometimes I go for jobs. Like before I go for the you job, I see the, the bride and. I'm already saying, when singing it. Together, like, I'm singing it. Even on your wedding, like, on my wedding, on day before. Is it a day before we? A day before, day before we're like, like a week. Well, no, no, no. The, the day before the wedding, I remember when we got to the hotel. You were like, really, what's up now? What's up, ah, the real? You know, now. you plan, you plan <laughs> content. Like, there's something I do when I go to the hotel, and I'm not liking the view. We switch. The, we just change the positioning of the chair because yes. we need lighting, lighting it's to very get the, con the con everybody has to have a light. All so this, you know, it. after all the rigma rolling, it all leads to getting a good content because I live for the content. It's very like I can sit down a day without food, but I'm just saying content of mm. you know the jobs I've done and it's giving me that vibe. I just I just live for it. So. Try and focus more on the content after the craft. So it's yes, very, very, very important. important. Hi guys, welcome back once again. So we're rounding up with everything mm -hmm. and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was really insightful. I hope it was, you know, because this video, I think we should term it a series because yeah. We have more things to talk about. I mean, to help all of us, you know, in this business, especially for upcomings, very important. So we don't want to take much of your time. Mm -hmm. If you want us to talk about, you know, so many things related to work and how to grow businesses, and you want us to all, yes. always do collabs like this, please leave it in the comments. Below. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And also give this video a very big thumbs up, like our other videos, watch them, share them with your friends, because you know, like I always say, sharing is caring. So guys, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified on whenever we post a video. So we love you all and we'll see you in our next one. Bye-bye.